And what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Manga Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's Theta Network Price Analysis video. Um, this is the first time I'm dissecting Theta um, as one of my analysis videos, so um, this is going to be very interesting. So we will be going over both pairs for Theta, okay, Theta USDT as well as Theta BDC. That way we get a more holistic view of what Theta is likely to do in um, in the upcoming days and the upcoming weeks. Okay, now um, I figured I'd start, start off with the Mango Dashboard because there were two things that tipped me off on Theta. The first person being Wilder from the Mango Seed program. Um, he was the first person who brought Theta up to my, my attention, which then prompted me to go and look into the dashboard to see what um, the dashboard was telling me. And Theta BDC actually flipped long on the dashboard one month ago. Okay, now this is the Mango dashboard. Whoever has access to this, you guys got the call on Theta one month ago, flip long, and since then you are up 168%. Okay, now we did have a, I'm sure many of you who are playing the chart right now, um, we did, Theta did take a massive um, leg to the downside, okay, but still, if you manage to catch the signal, you are still up 168%. Okay, now this is still the call on Theta BDC. It is still long. This has not flipped yet. Okay, how about Theta USDT? Now, Theta USDT is right here. This is also long, and this signal came in two weeks ago. Okay, 15 days ago, and if you manage to catch this one, you are up 82%. Okay, now um, for those of you who kind of want to check out the dashboard, and you want to play around with it, um, there's, an, there's a free version. Okay, I'll link that above as well as in the description below. Um, or you can just check out app.mangoresearch.co and that should take you to the free version of the dashboard. Um, everything is the same from the free version and the paid version, except the paid version you have more pairs. Okay, everything else, all the features are the same. That way you can play around with it, have fun with it, see what's possible on here. Okay, so I'll link that. Um, so check it out for those of you who are interested. Now let's get into the charts to see what um, Theta could very well be doing in the more immediate um, time frames. Now the way I like dissecting my altcoins is that I like starting off with uh, my horizontals. Okay, support and resistance. I want to see those key levels in my face. So let's get on to um, the weekly time frame. Uh, it's not much on the weekly. I'm sure we can plot something around here. I believe that was a major, major level. Okay, so this is one level right here. Now, this was around that 14 cent region. Okay, this was one. And the second one was right around here. Okay, and notice how when um, Theta took out this region here at 16 cents, okay, as soon as we closed over, now this is the three day time frame. As soon as we closed over, guys, look at that rally. Like, while well, it may not look like much on my chart, mind you. Check this out. This was a massive 257% move to the upside. Okay, now this is what um, charts like Theta and other volatile uh, cryptocurrencies can do. It takes out one level and boom. Um, and however, this was not any um, minor level. I want you to notice how we got rejected at the 16 cent level right here on May 2019. Okay, now this was the second test here on 12th Feb 2020. And this was the third until we finally managed to close over. And this guys is the power of support and resistance. Okay, it gives you these these psychological levels, these technical levels that you know, people like that traders and insiders are playing off of. They all have significance. And as soon as you see a major level like this that has been contested for one year without breaking, okay, and we finally take it out, the implications of this are massive. And what do you know? Took it out, 257, boom. Okay, um, so this is what SNR can do for you. Now we have these uh, major supports drawn underneath us. Is there anything else on this three day time frame? I don't think so. How about the daily? Let's get on to the daily. Okay, now this is the daily time frame. I do believe the next level is going to be around here. Okay, that's going to be the next one. And um, all right, all right. So a few things that I have already kind of noticed right off the bat is that ever since Theta managed to take its leg up, ever since it started its trend, it first took out that 10 gin and the 21 EMA. And I want you to notice this. Every test of the 21 EMA since has been 
a buy. Okay, now we didn't get many. Okay, mind you, we got one, two, and that's it. And then it started trending on something much lower than the daily time frame, perhaps the four hour. But what is to note right now is that while it um, maintained that 21 EMA, every touch of the 21 EMA was a buy. I want you to notice how price was over the Kijun as well as that Tenkin. Okay, it was not just the 21 EMA that was being, you know, tested here and bought right back up, but even the Tenkin. Now, these were two powerful kind of lines of reference that price was going off of. These were two really, really good guides. And what is to note here is that price theta USDT has lost that Tenkin as well as that Kijun. We lost it right here. Okay, we use the Kijun as overhead resistance. And now we're coming down, and I do believe that we've gotten rejected here off of the Kijun, the daily Kijun, for, for the second time. Now, this has not closed. I do believe that taking the Kijun out and even perhaps taking the Tenkin out could have further bullish implications. Okay, now these are the levels that I'll be looking for price to take out on those more um, immediate time frames. Now, if I really had to pick a side, okay, on this current sort of um, picture of Theta USDT, ah, uh, I think it's neutral. Now, I do believe that the daily structure is somewhat being maintained right now, okay? And it's all right. It's not looking bullish, but it's not looking too bearish yet, okay? What will be bearish, what will be bearish is price taking out this wick right here. Okay, I want you to look at that. It is this candle, the wick of that candle. I do believe that if price takes this out, now the bottommost part of the wick here is sitting at 27 cents. Okay, if price manages manages to take this out and we see another wick past this 27 cent region, I don't think that 21 EMA is gonna hold. Okay, I do believe that this trend is going to break and we are likely to come down further. Now, what I'll be looking for is that if price closes underneath this horizontal, I'll be looking for a further push to, to the downside. Perhaps the next level that will be contested is going to be this one right here at around 19 cents. Okay, that's going to be the first level I'll be looking for. But for all of this to pan out, I'm looking for this wick right here to be taken out. Now, some of you are probably wondering, okay, why the wick and why not the 21 EMA? Because Overall, guys, I do give the structure more importance. Okay, I'm looking for those higher lows to be maintained. What I would like, ideally, is for this 21 EMA to move up, okay, pass this, pass the wick, and price come and test the 21 EMA and the 21 EMA hold. Okay, now what I'm looking for right now, what I'm giving more importance to is the overall bullish structure. And I do believe that taking out this wick right here is going to break that structure. Okay, so I'll be looking for is if price takes this wick out, the next level is going to be here at around 19 cents. And on the flip side of this, guys, is if um, Theta starts taking out that Kijun as well as the Tenkin, okay, on the daily time frame, and we start having these candle body closes over it, especially that Tenkin, um, chances are I think we're going to go for another wave, another bullish wave to the upside. So that's what I will be keeping my eyes out on if I am looking for a further trudge to the upside, okay? If Theta has to have a little more oomph, I'll start looking for price to take back that Tenkin at around 36 cents. Okay, now this is Theta USDT. I do believe it's neutral. So now let's get on to Theta BDC and see what it is doing. And man, wow. Okay, that was a massive sell off. What was that? Holy shoot. It's 53% to the downside. Oh God. Okay. So, um, and this is the, you know, that, that's the thing with, with coins like Theta. I mean, it's very, very volatile. Does that make it bad? No, that makes it extremely good, but really to play, um, all coins like this, to play any sort of volatile chart. Okay. Not, it may not necessarily be, you know, in the crypto space, but even in the traditional space, this is where a good risk management system really kicks in. Okay, now for those of you who are in the Mango Seed program, you have access to the risk management module as well as the risk management system that we have and the sheets to go with it. It is a risk management system like that that will allow you to play an asset as volatile as Theta, okay, while keeping you in profits and also keeping you safe. 
Okay, now Theta BDC. Now I do believe that as soon as we broke this resistance right here at around that um, 210 sat region, okay, we broke that, and I do believe that we started trending on something much, much lower than the daily. But as soon as we took out that um, that resistance, we had a 206 percent swift move to the upside. Okay, now that was freaking exponential, but let's actually go and plot some more um, support and resistance to see if there are any other major levels that we need to keep our eyes out on. Now that was one, and I do believe that we have one right around here. Okay, now this is at that 2557 sats. Okay, and man, this was a bearish, bearish candle. This entire week for Theta has been a massive... It's been blood. <laughs> but uh, okay back to the daily so the daily is looking ugly but I do believe that if we manage if we take out these wicks here okay the lowest wick being at around that 2652 sat region okay I'm pretty much looking at these guys right here um, I do believe we're coming down further probably gonna end up testing 210 sats once again okay I'll be looking for these wicks here to hold as the lows okay as soon as price starts taking out these lows here i will be anticipating for a further push to the downside meeting the next major resistance at 210 sats okay but right now um we still have that 21 ema trudging up if we manage to hold that as support okay if the 21 ema moves up and we manage to bounce off of the 21 ema the picture may start changing okay what i'll look for in that case i'll be looking for price to start taking out the kijun as well as the tenkin once again the take out of take out of the tenkin just like how it was on theta usdt taking out that tenkin is going to flip the picture at which point I do believe that Theta BDC may have another push to the upside. Okay, now that's what I will be looking for on these higher time frames. Right now, I want Theta to maintain these wicks here, to defend these wicks here at around that 2652 sat region. Okay, defending this is going to be everything. We lose these wicks, guys. 210 is going to be the next region. Okay, so now this is what we're doing on the daily time frame. Let's get on to that four hour. Um, is it giving us any sort of call here? Now, I do believe that price has been testing this breakout region right here at around that 211, 210 sats. And I want you to notice how we've been putting in these higher lows here on the wicks. Okay, so that's um, that's interesting price action. I do believe that if we lose this wick low right here, which is at around 2992. Now, this, of course, guys, is for those of you who are playing those lower time frames on Theta. Okay, if you really want to get a good understanding, if you have a position and you're not sure where price wants to go, um, I do believe that taking out 2992 here, this wick low here on the four hour time frame, will have bearish implications. I'll be looking for a further push to, to the downside, uh, potentially testing this 256 sat region. Okay, now this is not going to be a small range from this wick low here to the bottom of this range that is around 13 percent to the downside 13 14 percent to the downside give or take okay what i'll be looking for let's put on that um that ichimoku cloud so we have the 21 ema right overhead allow me to just switch on my 10 sma as well see where the 10 is okay so right now uh, price is being rejected off of that 10 simple moving average okay if we manage to close the next four hour candle which we close in about 15 minutes over the 10, the 10 sma i'll be expecting a move to the 21 ema at around that 3786 sat region now if we manage to take that out that will be a start for the bulls however i want to see the bulls maintain that 21 ema if we can maintain that as underneath support okay i'll be looking for this 21 ema to start turning okay a gradual turn will be nice but right now this is a bullish slope this is overall a bullish picture just the 10 sma crossing over that 21 ema is a bullish crossover okay and notice how aggressively the emas and that ma is moving down Okay, that is a bearish picture. For this to change, I'll be looking for price to start moving above that 21 EMA and, and holding it as support. Okay, I want to see this turn. I want to see the picture turn. I want to see this 10 SMA turn. Possibly, if this has to turn bullish, I want to see another double bullish cross here. Okay, basically that 10 SMA crossing over the 21 EMA. Okay, I do believe that that will change the picture, but that's what I'll be looking for on the lower time frames to see that bullish confirmation. But right now, guys, this is looking more bearish than it is looking bullish. Okay, the only saving grace here right now is the fact that we have these higher wick lows. Okay, losing this wick low here is GG. I do believe we're coming down to test this 
2556-2557 sat region. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is all I have for you. This is Theta BDC on the four hour time frame. Right now, the Theta USDT um, chart is looking, is more neutral. Okay. Then uh, bearish because we are holding that daily structure still. Um, the Theta BDC is more on the bearish side. So what is that telling us about Bitcoin, guys? What is that telling us about Bitcoin? If, if Theta USDT is uh, neutral, okay, and Theta BDC is bearish, it's telling me that Bitcoin may, may want to take another move to the upside. Now, this is all I have for you for Theta USDT as well as Theta BDC. If you've spotted anything else on this chart, I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so mention that in the comments below. And yeah, guys, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way, guys. Ciao.